All right, let's take a look at equations with one variable. So all right, in this one, the variable is x. And what we need to know is how to use distributive property here, right? So we're going to go like this 2 times the 3x plus this 2 times the 5 minus 4 times 5x and 4 times negative 2. Okay, so that's how we do it. So 2 times 3x will give us 6x plus uh, 5 times 2 is 10. So there we have 6x plus 10 now, right? We've distributed it. Okay, and then we got a minus sign here, and 4 times 5x gives us 20x. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So that gives us 20x minus 8. Okay, and then we just need to combine like terms, yeah? So we have 6x minus 20x. And that's going to be negative 14x. Okay, and then we have 10 minus negative 8. Okay, remember when you have two negatives together like that, that makes it a positive. It is 18. All right, and so that's going to be our answer is negative. Negative 14x plus 18. Okay. So that's the first one. Now let's get rid of it so that we can do problem number two. All right? All we really did was just distributed all those. Make sure you remember two negatives equals a positive. And just some straightforward calculations. Okay, second one. One third, got it right there for a second, plus three fifths. One third plus three fifths equals 10 minus x. All right. Okay, so this one they're making us do an extra step. Okay, so for one third plus three fifths is we need to find the common denominator for each of these, right? So for one third, if we multiply the top and the bottom by five over five, we've got a lot more things like this in the fraction section, fraction video, if you want, and that equals five over 15, right? And for the three-fifths, so we want this one to have a denominator, that bottom number to be 15 also. So we'll multiply this guy by a 3 over 3. And that will equal 9 fifteenths. Okay. And when we add 5 fifteenths plus 9 fifteenths, because the denominator is the same in both, right? Denominator is the same down here as it is here. We did that on purpose, right? So then we just keep that denominator at 15, but we add the two top numbers, the numerators. 5 at plus 9 is 14. Okay, so there's our answer, 14 fifteenths. Okay, now let's go back to the problem. Okay, so now we know that 1 third plus 3 fifths equals 14 over 15. All right, so I'm going to put that right here. 14 over 15 equals 10 minus x. Okay, so now we'd like to get rid of this 10, yeah? 
So we'll subtract 10 from both sides. We can get that x by itself, which is what we really always want. Okay, I always like to have the x on the left side for some reason, just because that's how I was taught, I guess. Um, okay, so 14 fifteenths minus 10. So if it was 1 minus 10, you would know it was negative 9, right? So this one is actually negative 9, and then there's 1 fifteenth left over. Negative 9 and 1 fifteenth. Okay, and... All we need to do now is we need that x to be positive, yeah? We need to multiply each side by negative 1, and that leaves us with x equals 9 and 1 15th, right? Multiplying it by that negative, switch the sign. Negative times a negative is a positive, and we're left with x equals 9 and 1 15th.